Hello, Berku13 here again, and this is a continuation of the Time to Perk series. Uh, today we're looking at some of the modifications I have performed on my uh, West Wind stove here, um, much of which was at the suggestion of Colorado Camper. And I think Hiram Cook also mentioned this, but I don't believe it's tested. Basically what I did was took the uh, suggestion of taking this notch and this notch and lowering it. I believe Colorado Camper did a test uh, earlier on a video uh, where he took this down a quarter of an inch. You can see this line right there was the original height um, of this line and it's been moved down a half an inch and this also has been moved down correspondingly a half an inch. I've also drilled some lightning holes. Uh, this is, a, I believe, a one and an eighth inch diameter hole cut with a unit bit. Uh, basically, I just placed this uh, this large area washer uh, in this area, splitting the difference between the top and bottom material and side to side, just kind of centering it in here um, to pick a spot to drill. Pretty simple operation. Uh, it's uh, all this has definitely lightened up the the stove noticeably but uh, I haven't been able to get a uh, gram weight on it just yet. I'll do that um, shortly and I'll put that in the comments, or I'm sorry, the description section. Um, I'm not quite done with this. I also plan to do uh, another set of lightning holes in all three of these pads, but also I'm going to experiment with notching this area. Okay, now what that modification has done for us is basically lowered the burner position from its original it was about right there, uh, its original position, uh, which gave a burner height of three quarters of an inch between uh, the top or the, the holes of the burner and the bottom of the pot, and has lowered that a half of an inch. So now we have a one and a quarter inch distance between the burner and the top and the bottom of the pot. And uh, although that's not quite as much as the one and three quarter inch difference um, of having this uh, oven upside down with the burner resting on the ground, and the purpose of today's test is to find out exactly how much improvement uh, do we get in efficiency by just notching this half an inch. In the original position, uh, you can see in the previous video, we had a 16 ounce uh, boil test time of 8 minutes and 42 seconds, which was pretty slow just for two cups of water. The reverse position with the burner on the ground produced a time of uh, 5 minutes and 27 seconds, which was a substantial improvement. So this being a compromise between the two, I would expect that um, we're going to get somewhere in between the two times, and, and we're going to find that out right now. Okay, now that we've got a nice little bloom, we're going to put the putt on, hit the timer, and just see how much improvement we get. While we're waiting, I'll give you a quick close-up shot of what we're talking about here. Good flame pattern. Okay, we just passed our upside down west wind configuration time of 5 minutes and 27 seconds. Uh, we're still looking for, uh, for a perk up here. Again, the criteria, two perks in a row that, that's um, uh, violent enough to touch the top of the window. And uh, time continues to run. Hopefully we'll beat that uh, original time of 8 minutes and 42 seconds. The suspense is terrible. I hope it lasts. Now I was a little slow on the button there. We actually had a perk um, at uh, 6 minutes and uh, 20 seconds. I'm about 7 seconds slow on pressing the button. Uh, that's pretty good. That's right in the middle of uh, the two times. Uh, significant improvement. Uh, 620 for this configuration as compared to the uh, previous config of 8 minutes and 42 seconds. Yields roughly a 28% increase in efficiency, or 28% reduction in time, however you want to uh, look at that. I certainly think that's a worthwhile mod, 
Um, it didn't take but about uh, 10 minutes to perform with a band saw and a unibit on a drill press. Uh, certainly if you have those tools available to you, I highly recommend the modification. I also wanted to point out that uh, the reason why I brought this down as well uh, was so that the simmer ring can be properly used. Um, if you just bring the middle notch down to lower the burner um, and leave this up uh, half an inch, obviously this is going to conflict. Um, the lid won't be able to be, be utilized uh, as easily and it'll end up cocked to the side. So um, it, whatever you do to this notch be sure to do with this one and um, that'll retain the usefulness of your simmering. Another thing I noticed about this stove uh, that I don't think I've seen in any other videos now that I mentioned the simmer ring notch well the uh, stove can be assembled in a left hand or right hand configuration and I'm not talking about turning it upside down if uh, you take the if you take the pieces and it depends on how you put the first two pieces together you notice this is now on the left side as oriented but if you simply put the stove together the opposite direction now it's on the right hand side so it depends on uh, your personal preference. I'm, I'm personally right-handed, so I actually prefer the stove in this configuration so that the simmer ring can be opened to the right and modulated accordingly. Now I'll put the stove in here, and you can even modulate it on the stove. Just to prove that you can do that with the pot in place, uh, once you get it to a boil, in my case I want to turn down the heat for percolation. I don't want to burn the coffee. Uh, about an eighth of an inch of gap here is almost perfect. Let me slide that in and put her on. I think you can see the gap there. Okay, everything's reset. Uh, 32 ounces of water. We've got uh, everything's nice and cool. Again, the, uh, the ambient 70 degrees. Okay, we've got a quick blossom. We're going to put the 32 ounce pot on and see how the real deal would go. And we've got perk. Yep, that's official. 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, looks like we get 32 ounces to percolate. And uh, that's still pretty painful. Uh, the uh, Mini Trangia stove did the 32 ounces in 11 minutes and 2 seconds. And the reversed west wind. Uh, the upside down west wind stove unmodified uh, 8 minutes and 51 seconds that was the, uh, the actual time to beat although 10 minutes and 30 seconds isn't too bad and again to show you that you can put the simmer ring on there unmodified um, just like that simmer ring in action there and you can tell we're still percolating perfectly. That won't burn any coffee. Okay, some quick math revealed that we also got a 28% increase in efficiency. So uh, I think we've, um, we've conclusively proven that burner height uh, or flame height here is very critical. In this configuration the burn height is one and a quarter inches. Uh, versus the three quarters of an inch unmodified dropping it a, a, a half an inch that makes it an inch and a quarter and the uh, upside down configuration with the burner resting on the ground was an inch and three quarters so we're still half an inch off and uh, I, I think that extra half an inch is very critical for actually cooking something you want a little less heat you're not looking at a rapid boil maximum performance uh, scenario uh, this configuration would work perfectly and if you wanted the absolute maximum um, performance, you'd simply turn this puppy upside down, uh, making the uh, uh, the flame height as 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 distant as and long as possible. Let that flame coalesce, and uh, you know, as we learn from physical science and such, that the hottest part of that flame is going to be at the very tip where it comes together in a in a point. So the closer you can get to that maximum heat signature. Uh, and spread the flame out just a little bit on the bottom of the pot uh, but not too much by pushing it down too close to the burner you get an ideal configuration um, I think that's it for now happy camping